Well, hello and welcome back to another RV walkthrough. As always, my name's Taylor Quayle. We're here at Padata RV Center in Tucson, Arizona. And today we get a look at a 2006 National RV Tradewind 40F. This is a 40 foot diesel pusher quad slide. It's got a 400 Cummins engine in the back with a side radiator, a couple ACs on top. And you know, we're gonna give this thing a really good look. We're gonna give it a full exterior look, check out all the compartments and jump inside and see what that has to offer. So first up, let's start here on the passenger side and look at the tires. Be a little loud, 275 ADR, 22 and a half. In terms of a date code, 4711. These things are 12 years old. You can see your airbag right behind it. it. Looks to be in good condition. And then under your first galley slide right here, you do have an awning, electric awning that goes out over the slide. And then you can see up there, there's also a slide topper. Awning seems to be in really good condition. I don't see any rips or tears, especially where it connects. Fuel fill right there. Decent sized storage bay with some easy reading material. And we got a pass-through storage bin. Now we'll go out both ways. Looks to be about 60%, maybe 70. An option for this coach was that central back system you see right there with this other full pass-through system. Storage. One window awning on this coach. We're located right here on the bedroom slide. The bed slides actually on the other slide. This is more of your kind of bench area. It does have a metal cover for that top of that awning. Let's see another set of tires here. Oh, these are Toyos. Okay, the fronts were Michelin, so I'll see if I can find a date code on the other Toyos in the back. Looks like we put in some brand new interstate batteries in here. You got six total batteries in this compartment. Radiator, water heater, and that's an exhaust for the combo washer dryer area. There's not a washer dryer in here, but there is an area to put one. And we got the rear cap, backup camera up there. Like I said, side radiator so you can see the block. That 400 Cummins. Down below, what is that, a seven pin? Looks like it, and then this should be a 10,000 pound hitch right here. Well, of course, we'll check out the roof here in a second. Actually, you know what? Let's do that now. Let me close that compartment. All right, and here is the roof. Now, I said at the beginning of the video, basement ACs, or I'm sorry, rooftop ACs, but it's actually a basement AC unit. So, the only thing we got up here, King Dome system, a couple vent covers with those Max Force vent cover. What am I trying to say? Max Force vent covers, my gosh. You got three of those right there. Skylight looks like for the bathroom. And then, uh, is that a local TV antenna? Yeah, local TV antenna. That's about it on the roof. All right, there's your basement AC behind there. And then on the other side is the radiator. All right. Now on the driver's side now, another two slides. You got a little fiberglass crack right here at the corner of this slide. Something to point out. Your first compartment in the rear. Got your 50 amp power service. And of course your inverter. It's like a little breaker box too. All right, these Toyos, 02 of 20. So these are much, much newer. So the ones in the rear are about three years old. The ones up front are 12. A little bit of peeling going on on the slide. It is painted though, which is nice. Overall, the paint actually doesn't look too bad. A couple little areas where clear coat's starting to go, but to be expected on a 2006. Here's your dump station. And then we got the other side of those pass-through storages. And I would've showed you that tray on this side if I pushed it in. My God, look at that propane tank. Six gallons. That is insane. Then you also got fuel fill right there. Same Michelin tires up front. And your electrical compartment. And 
and then it's really hard to see but you got your 8000 generator in here it doesn't slide out or anything you got to get up under it to access it all right Let me get some of these compartments shut really quick quick peek with the awning window awning and compartments shut all right let's head on in so you got two exterior steps as you head in they are a little up there right now because we are fully loaded with air ready to move right when you walk in to the left you do have a small control panel with light controls awning controls step and disconnect that's really about it this is what you see right when you walk in kitchen and front galley area and even for 06 they had a pretty good TV viewing location so we'll get to everything we're gonna start up front though first all right over on the left here you got auto leveling jacks you got like oh, I was looking for that earlier uh, mirror defrost Allison transmission the mirror controls your parking brake you can adjust your pedals and your visor and your fans all right there <clears throat> emergency brake emergency boost block heater fog lights docking lights give her a second here we'll start her up to see how the uh, drive line sounds well that sounds good you can barely even hear it generator's still going so that's what you're hearing mainly Looks like this Pioneer, I don't know if this was replaced or just used a lot. Some of the, whatever the finish on it was kind of jacked up. Radio power right there. I'll turn that on. That'll come on. Keep that off for the time being. And then, of course, generator. That's really it minus a couple of these kind of interesting style drawers. Come on. There we go. Driver's seat. Besides, you know, a couple little marks. That may even be from me. It's in good condition. It is a six-way power seat. And it will, you know, push back a little bit, recline. It will swivel too. And then your passenger seat does fully swivel, fully reclines. And then you can see your little pop-up leg rest right there. I did try to see if you could make this TV work for the passenger seat. I mean, if you're hard of Heart of sight, I guess it could work. You're gonna be pretty darn close to it though. Try not to break anything putting that back. All right. So that's passenger area. The only other thing in the cockpit is gonna be storage, which there's a whole bunch of it. Storage there, storage there. What's under here? More storage. I mean, look at all the storage. It's crazy. And then we should have, oh baby, 12 disc. 12 disc some premium tech right there oh and we got VIN number and cert tag you want to see those all right that's the cockpit so your first slide your first galley slide on the driver's slide there right there right before the sink it didn't have anything in here before we did end up putting in a thomas Paine couch and then you can see a little little seat right there now this guy i think is one of those trifolds so it'll flip over itself and come out and give you a nice little queen sleeper above that area we do have some storage as usual connect it on over there's that little seat all part of the slide now what's cool about this kitchen now it, it is on a slide so when it comes in you do lose your access to the sink but it has this extra little like kind of cubby hole which has just a very very nice deep storage you got another one down here much harder to see with the chair in the way but you could just easily move that like light controls power connections and then the kitchen that's on this slide is storage microwave stove top this is a convection microwave it's a false panel to get to the power cord it's velcroed in and then a whole bunch of drawers with all your extra screws decent storage under there for pots and pans and then your three burner stove top covers just to the left of that 
even more storage below the sink. And then some more storage up above. Now we did have, there was a little water leak in here from the exterior to replace some wood in here. It's all solid now, but something to point out. And then, oh, there's an extra little storage right here. This is right by that central vac system where you got the connection and then the dust pan down below. All right, before we get to the rest, let's back her up here. And let's look at the other slide out. They're all the way down to right there. You got your entertainment center with the TV, the Furion 32 inch TV it looks like. Small little storage down below, get out of the way. Oh my gosh, look at the monstrosity of cables up here. We did see a satellite up there, so there probably is an area for game console, satellite receivers, all that fun stuff. The only other thing in this slide is residential fridge and your dinette. And since we're here, I tried to find some of the, you know, features and options. This thing didn't really have many options. I did highlight the actual options on it. And then there's some of your tank sizes, measurements, weights, things like that. We are selling this for 65 grand, 2006, 40F, National RV Trade ones, 36,038 miles. And then if you want to see your actual floor plan salon right here, all the way on the far right. All right. I did also forget to point out whole tile floor in this. You know, you got carpet on the slides, which is to be expected, but the rest of it is all tile, except bedroom, of course. Bedroom is still carpet. Residential refrigerator. Not a three-way, not a Dometic or Norcold. It is a 110 only fridge. This definitely was replaced. You can see it's got a little bit of extra room up top and to the side. It is mounted in there. Who knows what happened? A little bit of mark. Maybe they had a leak on the old fridge or something. All right, moving back into the bedroom, we do have a little pocket door right there. But before the pocket door, you got some nice storages. You got three of those drawers right there, and then you got one more additional drawer up above. Let's see how deep these go. Very nice. All right, now we got your bathroom. Vanity. I couldn't for the life of me find those light controls. I'm sorry. And then decent sized counter space. Pretty standard bathroom storage in here. Now I still got a little bit of work to do here in this corner shower. You'll see what I mean. And right there. I replaced the skylight. Had a water leak in there too. Little seat in this shower. I'm not sure on the measurement because it's kind of an awkward size and shape, but a good size shower to say the least. All right, and then before we get into the bedroom, you still have the toilet room and then kind of your main control panel, CO2 detector, uh, level testers, slide controls, thermostat, heater, and your inverter control. Right behind this door though is the laboratory. Why would I open it that way? Make it easy on myself. Nice big wide counter, same kind of Corian solid surface countertops throughout. You have to watch out opening this top one. You don't want to break that. And then wrap her around here. Porcelain toilet. Up above that, another option. A fantastic fan right there. Same concept. I think you've got to replace bulb for that light. All right. Last but not least, the bedroom. Bedroom also has two slides in here. You've got a bed slide, and then you have that. I called it a bench earlier. I guess more so cabinetry. A TV stand, whatever you want to call it, is also part of a slide. So we'll start right here. You got a whole bunch of drawers. You got six drawers down below. Looks like that one's a little bit, a little bit taller. And then some storage there all that space up above some storage up above and that's pretty much what's in the slide area for a tv would go there of course it was a tube tv in 06 they took that out area for a washer dryer is also a right here they must have had one in here before because the wood's a little beat up so probably from sliding in and out 
And then, in front of us, is the slide out for the queen mattress. I think it's a 60 by 80, it could be 60 by 75, it looks like it could be a shorty. And then, no underbed storage. Just your slide mechanism. Oh, that's pretty, pretty hard to put down. Alright, you don't have any, like, you know, little drawers or anything down here. And last but not least, it's a little dark because there's no light in there, so I'll try to step back a little bit. But you have your closet. Now, there's no pole on this side. There is a pole on the right side. What's on the left side is water access location. And then... So that is the bedroom. That's your walkthrough of our 06 National RV Tradewinds 40F, 36,000 miles, 400 Cummins, quad slide. And we gotta put some slides in here, so let me go up front. We'll get her on pause and we'll put everything away. All right, both slides are in. Well, all four, I should say, but both slides up front in the galley area are in. So still an even better viewing angle from the couch for the TV. Dinette isn't affected at all. It's going to go flying everywhere. Uh, fridge is definitely affected in terms of opening it and accessing stuff in here. Freezer's not at all, but fridge, you know, if you got, you got no Budweiser back there in the corner, it might be harder to get to. Sink. Definitely lose some space. You can still access it, still use it, but uh, a little bit hard. Bathroom, nothing changes. Bedroom. A lot changes so you lose your walkway up front completely gone but you can still get back to the closet if you need to just roll across the bed or I guess crawl under but yeah all right let's check it out outside see what it looks like there too there is also a step cover for this area I got the point out Here we are in travel mode. So if you have any questions on this unit, I will leave all my contact info in the description box and hopefully on the screen right now. You're welcome. What is that one compartment doing open? My gosh. If you have any questions, you're welcome to reach out to me. Text me, email me, whatever works best for you. And if you like watching RV walkthroughs, yeah, consider subscribing. You know, I get a whole bunch of different RVs, makes, models, floor plans in here. And I love, you know, showing you guys all the different stuff. Especially, you know, I just shot this guy the other day. And it's out back. Rain had that little front cargo area. Very, very unique. But anyways, thank you so much for viewing. Hopefully you, you know, got, got a question answered that you were kind of dwindling on. But if not... If you need anything else, just go ahead and contact me. Thank you so much for viewing. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you guys have a great day. Happy RBN.